Our next grammar topic is going to be subject verb agreement. The basic principle is very, very, very simple. The basic principle of subject verb agreement is that within a sentence, the subject and the verb must match each other. So if you have a singular subject, you're going to have a singular verb. And if you have a plural subject, you're going to have a plural verb. So with that in mind, what we want to do then is figure out how are we going to make sure that our subject and our verb match each other. So the first step in the process is going to be find the subject and the verb. Um, which I've already covered in another video, uh, remembering the basic goals here where the verb is going to be an action or a state of being in the sentence. And then after you've found the verb to look for the subject, to remember uh, the subject is who or what is doing the verb. So one of the things to remember going back to that one thing is you're going to watch out for extra words in between. And then you're also going to watch out for inverted constructions. So uh, remembering inverted constructions means, for example, if you have a question, uh, a lot of times part of the verb or even sometimes the whole verb comes before the subject. Um, or if you have a sentence that begins with there, as in there is or there are, once again, the verb comes before the subject. So you've got to hunt for the subject. But once you've found the subjects and the verbs, or subject and verb, if you're dealing with just one sentence, then you're going to ask yourself, is the subject plural or singular? And then depending on whether the subject is plural or singular, then you can make sure the right verb is in place. The verb is going to match the subject in the sentence. So what we now want to do is look at how do you tell whether something is singular or plural. <laughs> 